All right, I got my email from Video Guys uh, for my order for the combination of the hit film Ignite and the upgrade to version 8. However, the way it's packaged here, I'm just a little nervous to go ahead and try and install this on my current 7 uh, package of EDIUS. And uh, it's just uh, a very unusual way to try and upgrade an EDIUS package through a third-party plugin and I'm just afraid of what might happen if I go ahead and click on this. So if you have followed my lead on the previous tutorial and uh, purchased this and downloaded this, I would, uh, I would say that this might not be the best approach. Uh, what I'm going to do, just to be safe, is I'm going to follow a more traditional method of upgrading, and that is to, first of all, completely uninstall version 7 including uh, deactivating my license for version 7. And the way to do that is in Windows, go down to your very bottom uh, right-hand corner and show hidden icons and look for the GV License Manager there. Click on that and select the license that you have currently for version 7 and uh, hit the online deactivation and you will need to uh, be online in order to do this if you don't have access to the internet currently you will not be able to do that okay my license is now deactivated and the next thing i'll do is go to control panel and go to uninstall program and look for edius and click on that and hit the uninstall it uh, looks like it wants to perform the deactivation here and so uh, I guess that's a fail-safe method to make sure that you are deactivated okay it wants us to reboot so I'm gonna put you on pause while I go through that alright once your computer has rebooted it uh, we need to actually go back to control panel again back to uninstall a program and this time we want to uninstall the GV license manager gives you a little warning that if it's uninstalled your EDIUS won't work but that's okay we're gonna uninstall it and then when we install our uh, upgrade or actually what we're gonna do is install the trial version of uh, 8 and then hopefully either today or shortly we will get a, a license in an email from either videoguys.com or from Grass Valley so that we can make our version 8 permanent. Okay, after uninstalling the license manager, we need to reboot again, so I'll put you on pause. All right, we're back, and uh, we're going to go to control panel one more time. I know this seems like a very tedious procedure to get a clean install of EDIUS, and I'm not even sure that EDIUS 8 is requiring this uh, method, uh, but in past uh, upgrades, it has been important to follow these steps in order to get a clean install that doesn't have uh, any problems. So I'm just following through with uh, what uh, historically we've needed to do in order to get a clean install. So let's go back to control panel and uh, let's switch from category view to uh, icon view and let's go to file explorer options and hit the view tab and make sure that you have show hidden files folders and drives uh, selected and now what we want to do is go to our C drive and make sure that all hidden files that relate to Grass Valley or EDIUS have been deleted now depending on what version you have been running prior to wanting to do this upgrade or uh, if you're wanting to run a free trial um, if you were running version 6 in the past, then you'll need to check in program files uh, times uh, 86. And as you open that up, you'll find a folder called Grass Valley, and you may find uh, information in there, some folders, files that should be deleted. If you were running uh, version 7, you will now find that in program files because it is a 64-bit uh, program. And so let's go to Grass Valley here, and we see EDIUS 7 there. We can just go ahead and delete that, make sure that everything is gone. Now let's go down to Users, 
and depending on how many users you have installed, uh, find the right user that uh, EDIUS was installed on. Click on that, go to App Data, go to Roaming, and look again for Grass Valley. And let's get rid of both of those. And one more place we want to check is in Program Data. And go to Grass Valley one more time and get rid of that folder as well. And we could also empty our temp folder. Let's go back to the users file and uh, choose the right user. Go to app data and this time let's go into local and find the temp, open that up and you can safely delete the files that are there. You may find some that are in current use so you can just skip those. Then we should have a clean hard drive ready for the installation of the latest version of EDIUS. And since the way I purchased it is uh, as an upgrade that came packaged apparently with a third-party plugin that I'm not comfortable with, what I'm going to do is go ahead and download the trial version that's online at Grass Valley for version 8. And uh, we'll have 31 days to figure out how to get our license uh, for the upgrade from 7 to 8 from either Video Guys or from Grass Valley themselves. I know that over at B&H they have a little uh, disclaimer there that even though you make the purchase and they say it's a download that you have to wait one to three days in order to get a, a license and a link for the download from Grass Valley. So I'm guessing that's kind of the way it's set up at Video Guys as well. It's just not clear in their documentation. All right, so uh, let's go to Grass Valley website and let's do uh, Edius free trial, I guess. And uh, we'll choose the Edius Pro 8. And there's a couple things that you should note if you're working with the trial or downloading or installing the trial. Number one is that it should only be installed on a computer where no EDIUS has ever been before or you've done what we have just showed you, a complete clean uninstall of any previous version. All the hidden files, everything needs to go. The other thing is that in order to work with the free trial, you will need to be have access to the internet each time you start the program and even if you left your computer running it says it's going to check it once a day so uh, if you are planning to be out in the field for the next 30 days uh, this free trial is probably not going to work for you unless you have access to the internet okay download the trial if you don't already have it you're going to need to create an edius identification uh, in order to download this. And uh, here we have a link to the latest version, which hopefully is 8.2. That's what we're interested in. And we'll save that file. All right, in the meantime, I have uh, registered. Even though I have a registered account, it looked like they wanted me to register again for this trial, so I went ahead and did that. And uh, they sent me an email, I clicked on that, and that sent me to this page here, and it asked you to choose a trial license. The one that you'll probably want to work with is EDIUS Pro 8 rather than the work group. The work group is more if you're at a broadcast station and it has a, a few features that uh, help people in that environment. But most of you will be probably be using EDIUS Pro 8 and so that's the one to select and then hit send and they will send you an email with a license, a temporary license to use for 30 days. All right, my download is complete. We can go ahead and start the installation. And I think I'll uh, put you on pause while this installs. All right, we're back. And we have a lovely new EDIUS 8 logo showing up on our desktop. Let's click it and see what happens. Enter a serial number. That's it. Enough, let's register that. Looks like it fell for it. 31 days left. And away we start. Looks like they're really getting uh, <laughs> tough on the, the piraters. So in addition to the license number, we have to uh, type in the email address that we just registered along with the password on that. So it's good though in a way that uh, we can try and prevent people from just stealing the program.
All right, well, I think that that does it for this particular tutorial on how to uh, upgrade or install a trial version of uh, EDIUS 8. And uh, in our next tutorial, we'll pick up on how to get started with uh, version 8.